We all know that if you take somebody and you put them away for three months, you know, 90 days, 60 days in a correctional institution, and then return them to the community, in most cases, they haven't received any treatment. So if you thought they were angry when they went in, they're even angrier when they come out. Now they've got no job and they've just done 60, 90 days in jail. A lot of our clients, they are referred to the outpatient programs, and that would be the TIP program. Um, we involve ourselves in that, which has been very helpful to us because that program in itself not only addresses the substance abuse issues, it also addresses a lot of the anger issues, and, and they have a good handle on the the comprehensive work that needs to be done with the individual. About 80% of this population uh, would recidivate. They would come back in within a year and commit a new crime once they were arrested. TIP, once TIP entered their life, actually that whole statistic got reversed. So instead of 80% recidivating, 80% was successful. Many of our clients uh, are coming from correctional facilities and how we think about um, providing reentry services back into the community is critically important for us. You know, Gavin, through their TIP program, um, has long been serving the needs of, of those clients who are uh, involved with the criminal justice system. I get to see people come in and, uh, that are resistant and uh, non-compliant in the court system and. Uh, and they change, and they uh, start talking in group every week and uh, get involved in the 12 steps and they transform into uh, productive citizens. So the referrals will come in, they assess them on the phone if they sound like a, uh, an appropriate referral from the probation or whoever said that could be parole. Um, then the person comes in. So the idea of the TIP program is to do one anger management group a week, enroll them in the 12 Steps Alcoholics Anonymous through the AWOL program when it's appropriate, to do drug testing surveillance for public safety and report that to probation. A lot of programs will take a person and say, here's our program, you must fit into it. And these are the things you do to fit into it. But with TIP, we said, come on in. We're going to wrap our program around you. So we fit the program to the client. They come in and they have a safe place to meet every week. This is how it begins. And they gradually get to know each other and trust each other. And they open up. In my own personal caseload, several men and women that have had this experience. And so I always tell them from the beginning, it may be for a particular number of weeks, um, but we'll work with you until you're up on your feet, stable, uh, sober, in solid recovery. And the success in the TIP program, working directly with the courts, to be incredible and, and, and viable that the courts look to these programs and see the success grow within the individual who may be struggling when they're sick. But when they become that whole person, it's unbelievable to see the bond of some of the graduates of these programs to the program and how they then mentor some others. It's a safe place to go to share their rage, their anger, their feelings, and they, and they learn how to do that in safety. This stuff works, and it works pretty darn good. <laughs>